Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss K. Today I'm going to read aloud an informational text titled Abraham Lincoln, written by Carolyn Crossan Gilpin. Let's look at the front cover of this text. So this is, this must be Abraham Lincoln. And there's an American flag behind him. So we're going to learn all about Abraham Lincoln today. We have a table of contents over here, which is a text feature and an informational text. A table of contents is a list of topics or parts of a book and the page numbers on which they begin. It is found at the beginning of the book. So we have in this table of contents, a much loved president, a country boy growing up in his time, becoming a leader, nine awesome facts, slavery, civil war, the Gettysburg Address, Lincoln's last days, Lincoln's life, be a quiz whiz, glossary. A much loved president. So this is a subtitle. A subtitle is another text feature in an informational text. It organizes the information into sections. Who's on the penny? And the $5 bill. It's Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. Lincoln is an important man in America's history. The next subtitle is A Country Boy. Lincoln was born in a one-room log cabin in Kentucky on February 12, 1809. He grew up in Indiana. Lincoln read a lot of books. He wanted to go to school, but there was too much work to do on his family's farm. He chopped down trees, built fences, and plowed the land. He grew strong and very tall. Lincoln was kind and a good storyteller. In his own words, leave nothing for tomorrow which can be done today. So we see in this photo over here, this is Lincoln's family's home in Kentucky. So Lincoln used to live here. Growing up, all his life, Lincoln taught himself how to do things. He learned how to read and write, tell stories and give speeches. That's a fact. Lincoln was an inventor. He had an idea for a machine to help ships float over sandbars. Lincoln learned how to fix machines. He taught himself how to pilot a riverboat and how to be a soldier. He even studied law and became a lawyer all on his own. Over here, we have some key vocabulary words to know. It says a lawyer is a person who provides advice about the law. In his time. In the 1800s, many things were different from how they are today. Money. A pair of shoes cost one dollar. A quart of milk cost ten cents. That doesn't sound like much, but dollars and dimes were worth a lot more back then. Toys. In their free time, children played hopscotch and leapfrog. They also played with marbles, dolls, and toy trains. School. Back then, not all children went to school. Those who did learn together in a one-room schoolhouse. Transportation. People walked and traveled by horse. Drawn carriages. Trains were used for long trips. There were no cars or airplanes. U.S. events. California became the 31st state in 1850. The New York Times newspaper started in 1851. Becoming a Leader. In 1842, Lincoln married Mary Todd. They have four sons named Robert, Eddie, Willie, and Tad. We can see that in this photo over here, this is a painting of the Lincolns with three of their sons, Willie, Robert, and Tad. Lincoln was a good lawyer. People trusted him to make important decisions. So Lincoln became a politician. Lincoln held two jobs as a politician for the state of Illinois. 
Then in 1860, he ran for president. Lincoln won. He became the 16th president of the United States. So here is another key word, words to know. Politician is a person who helps run a town, city, state, or country. And there is a fact over here. Mary Todd was one of 15 children in her family. So that's a fun fact over here. Nine awesome facts. So here are some fun facts. Number one. 11-year-old Grace Bedell wrote Lincoln a letter suggesting he grow a beard, and he did it. 2. The Lincoln penny has looked the same since 1909 with Lincoln on the head's side. 3. Lincoln made Thanksgiving a national holiday in 1863. Magazine editor Sarah Josepha Hale suggested the idea to Lincoln. Number 4. Lincoln read the Bible often, but did not belong to any church. Number five, Lincoln owns horses, cats, dogs, and a turkey. Once he saved his dog from drowning in a frozen river. Six, some presidents use speech writers, but Lincoln wrote all his own speeches. Number seven, Lincoln's stepmother was an important person in his life. She encouraged him to read and learn. Number eight, Mary Todd. Lincoln was more than a foot shorter than her husband. Number nine, Lincoln kept important papers in his stovepipe hat. This kept his head warm and his papers dry on rainy days. How interesting. Slavery. During Lincoln's time, some white people owned black slaves. The first slaves were brought to America from Africa. They were stolen from their families and sold to people who used them to do work. Slaves did not get paid and had to obey their owners. Slaves did not have any rights. They were often treated very badly. Many people were slaves because their parents were slaves. Those who tried to escape were often caught. Most slaves would never be free. In his own words, I want every man to have the chance, and I believe a black man is entitled to it, in which he can better his condition. People all over the country disagreed about slavery. Many people in the South wanted slaves to work on their large farms. Most people in the North worked in cities and thought slavery was wrong. That's a fact. Slaves used music for comfort and support. They sang about freedom, hard work, and their beliefs. In this illustration over here, there's a caption. The caption describes the photograph or the picture. So it says, an illustration of Slaves working on a southern farm shows the hard work needed to grow and harvest crops. Lincoln was against slavery and told people it needed to end. In his own words, whenever I hear anyone arguing for slavery, I feel a strong impulse to see it tried on him personally. Here's another caption over here describing this photo or illustration. A drawing of New York City in the 1800s showing bustling city life. Civil War. In 1861, 11 southern states broke away from the United States, which was also called the Union. These states did not want to be part of the Union because most of the Union wanted slavery to end. The country began a long and bloody civil war. And then we see, here's another key vocabulary, words to know. Civil War, a war between people of the same country the Union, the United States, but only Northern states during the Civil War. So over here we can see on the United States map, over here this is the Northern states, Southern states, and this is the West. Families disagreed and broke apart. Sometimes brothers fought on opposite sides. Some slaves escaped to the North to fight for freedom. Many people on both sides died. In 1863, Lincoln freed slaves in 10 states, but the war continued. Months later, he gave his most famous speech, the Gettysburg Address. In his own words, I say try. If we never try, we shall never succeed. This subtitle reads, The Gettysburg Address. 
Abraham Lincoln stood on the battlefield where thousands had died to end slavery. He said that the country began with the idea that all people should be free. People listened to Lincoln's powerful words. And then we see over here, there's a caption. It says Abraham Lincoln at Gettysburg. So this was him over here. Lincoln was over here. In his own words, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and, dedic and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal, the Gettysburg Address. In 1865, after many more battles, the South surrendered. The North had won. The long, terrible war was over. Words to know. Surrender to give up. Lincoln's Last Days after the war, some Southerners were still angry. They didn't want Lincoln as president. A few were so angry they wanted to assassinate Lincoln. On April 14, 1865, Lincoln went to the theater. During the play, he was shot by a man named John Wilkes Booth. Lincoln died the next day. Booth got away but was found and killed for his crime. Americans were sad to have lost Lincoln, their leader. Words to know. Assassinate means to murder an important person. Lincoln's life. Lincoln left behind a free country. The Union had been saved. Over time, Lincoln became one of the most loved of all American presidents. Each year, many people visit the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. and the Lincoln Presidential Library in Springfield, Illinois. When Barack Obama was sworn in as America's first black president, he used the same Bible that Lincoln used. That's a fact. The 36 columns of the Lincoln Memorial represents each state in the Union at the time of Lincoln's death. So this is the Lincoln Memorial over here. And then we see a timeline over here. So in 1809, born in Kentucky to Thomas and Nancy Lincoln, 1816, moved to Indiana. 1830, moved to Illinois. 1834, elected to Illinois State Legislator. 1842, married, mar married Mary Todd. 1846, elected to U.S. House of Representatives. 1860, elected President of the United States. 1863, freed the slaves in, in 10 states, gave the Gettysburg Address. 1864, elected President for a second time. 1865, died in Washington, D.C. on April 15th. So this is a timeline of Abraham Lincoln's life. We have a glossary over here. A glossary is a list of important words in a book and their meanings, and it is usually found at the end of a book. So let's go over some of the key vocabulary words that we have learned from this informational text. Assassinate, to murder an important person. Lawyer, a person who provides advice about the law. Surrender, to give up. Civil war, a war between people of the same country. Politician, a person who helps run a town, city, state, or country. The Union, the United States, but only Northern states during the Civil War. Boys and girls, we have read and learned all about Abraham Lincoln today. Now I want you to be a quiz whiz. That's right. You're going to take a quiz now, and you're going to see how many Lincoln questions you can get right. I'll read the questions to you now, but you can take your time and go back to the text to help you find your answers. So number one, Lincoln was the blank president of the United States. Number two, in Lincoln's time, blank. Is it A, not all children went to school, B, people traveled by plane, C, people watched TV, D, shoes cost $10. Again, you can take your time and go back and find your text evidence to answer the questions later. Number three, what was Lincoln's wife's name? A, was it Mary McDonald Lincoln? B. Marion Lincoln, C. Mary Todd Lincoln, D. Mary Adams. 
Number four. The night Lincoln was shot, he was at blank. A, the White House, B, the theater, C, his family's farm, or D, his law office. Number five, a slave blank. A, had to obey his or her owners. B, was not paid for his or her work. C, usually worked on large farms. D, all of the above. Number six, what is a war between people of the same country called? A, a treaty. B, a civil war. C, a disagreement. D, a skirmish. Number seven, how many sons did Lincoln have? A, six. B, four. C, none. Or D, one. So remember, you can go back to the text to find your text evidence to answer these seven questions. Take your time. And remember, you can only choose one answer. And when you are done, you can check your answers. Um, they will be at the bottom of page 31. But don't look yet. Finish the quiz on your own, and then you can check your answers. I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud.